Hello guys and uh, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you how to add a multi-language support uh, to your application, meaning that you can have your user interface uh, translated to a bunch of other uh, languages and uh, in the same application. Uh, so I'm going to create new VCL Forms application and I'm going to create something really simple just for demonstration, for example, personal info, something that just has a few uh, components in it. Okay, and I can add, uh, for example, a checkbox here. Uh, and a button. Okay, so this is a sample user interface and uh, what I want is when I run this application uh, that I can have it available, for example, on Croatian language, which is my native English language uh, uh, or any other that I want. Uh, so first I need to save everything. Okay, and once I've saved everything, I need to go to this other and uh, run uh, resource DLL wizard. Okay next and uh, we need to select which project do we want to add uh, multi-language support and uh, that is the one it is already selected next now i need to specify which languages do i want to have uh, uh, translated for i'll select the croatian which is my native language and uh, uh, i'll say english united states next 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 finish yes okay what happened now is uh, when i go to this project manager i can see a croatian version of this project one and the english version english united states version of uh, the project one i will activate this croatian version and then uh, open unit one and what i have here are the resource strings that i need to translate now for example Okay, uh, so uh, this is the original form and this is the translated one. Now you can uh, compare if you missed something or something like that, right? Uh, the next step is to uh, close page, save everything and build. Build. Uh, then in your project, you can, uh, you must activate this project one exit. And then in your project languages, uh, you need to say which uh, language do you want to set to active Croatian. And I run this and this is the Croatian version of our uh, application. Okay, so I can uh, also set uh, English version. Okay, and uh, so forth. Uh, also, if I uh, add something else on my uh, form uh, as you can see uh, this is the English version 
but uh, if I select Croatian version it will not be here so uh, what you need to do is to uh, say update localized projects save okay and build all now let's see okay so all uh, other localized projects are updated and they all have this button here right uh, and that is how you can uh, on a real simple uh, in a real simple way uh, add multi-language support to your application but what is really useful that you can uh, select language in a runtime uh, meaning that I can for example set this uh, button and say Croatian and uh, add another button that will say English okay so what I want is when I click this button I want automatically my user interface to be translated to Croatian and of course when I click this button to have uh, English translation uh, to in order to do that you need to have a uh, uh, re-init re -init pass file okay uh, you need to uh, uh, get that file somehow it is uh, it is it can be found in a rich edit example uh, from the older versions of C++ Builder but it is not really hard to find on the internet so uh, you need to simply uh, find this Pascal file and uh, what you need to do is to do uh, is to add the project and simply edit okay and uh, so far we didn't have to include not even one line of code but if you want to use a, a runtime a language change then we need to add this file and include its uh, header now uh, to uh, to automatically uh, change my uh, language to Croatian in runtime I need to add this part of code okay and uh, for the English version this part of code okay so what I'm going to do now is uh, again to update all localized projects okay and to build all now let's see okay Croatian it's Croatian English now as you can see it, this is the English version Croatian version changed in runtime okay so uh, it is really a minimal uh, bunch of code. Uh, all these uh, constants you can find on MSDN. Uh, you can uh, see the link here. And for each language, there is a sub language that you can use. So check this out if you uh, have a need for it. But like I said, to uh, enable this runtime language change, you simply need to find uh, this uh, reinit uh, pass file okay um, that's it folks i hope uh, that you find this interesting and like i said uh, if you have any questions please be free to ask thank you for watching and see you next time